Hello everyone, once again I welcome you all to my YouTube channel and you are in the series of uh, Fundamental of Cyber Security. Uh, in the previous session you had seen a data pipe which is a port a redirection tool. I have this image here open for you. If you do not remember then please have a look on, look on it. I'll share this image in various uploading uh, websites such as Pinterest and all. I'll give you the link in the description section of this YouTube. Uh, please uh, look after that, right? So in this session, I told you one disadvantage of this data pipe uh, that it only used, so you see that uh, I'll point it out that uh, this data pipe, I'm sorry, what this is, not an arrow. <laughs> so uh, you see that the problem is specifically it uses TCP traffic and that's the problem, specifically TCP traffic does not use uh, so this is going to be a disadvantage advantage oh, that's cool so uh, I, so this is only uh, you know using only a tcp traffic so uh, there is a problem called as uh, there is no protocol conversion okay i cannot uh, uh, convert this TCP into UDP traffic or vice versa okay so it does not perform any protocol uh, conversion or any kind of data manipulation so that's why uh, you know it is not that effective tool however it is used <laughs> but uh, there is one more uh, alternative of this tool is it is specifically meant for Windows by the way this is for Unix uh, you can run it on Linux uh, sorry what do you call uh, windows also but uh, it is meant for unix uh, the another part is uh, in contrast or alternatively that you can use is something called as f pipe you see this f pipe is uh, is is having a tcp and udp both so it supports first of all it supports uh, both the tcp and udp which is good for me I can now do some data manipulation and protocol conversion because you see that UDP is not a reliable protocol here. So this is good for me, supports both TCP and UDP. Another thing is it is meant for Windows, for Windows specifically. This is Unix specific. This is Windows specific. This is the basic difference. And now if you look after the command, so command is like this. So if you write uh, f pipe, as it is again an executable, so write f pipe dot exe for if you are in the Windows, uh, then write uh, dash l for listening one zero two eight maybe the uh, port number. Uh, you can use a remote port here uh, to which you are you want to connect a dash r for remote and eight is the port you want to connect and the uh, redirection domain. So maybe it is www dot google dot com. Okay, you can use this or any else so it's it is again the same it, it is a redirection tool here i'm creating one listener this is a listener it's a listener and this is a, by the way it's a remote port so when i open a browser and type my ip address uh, so here i'm gonna write that uh, open browser and if you write the IP address of your computer 192.168.117.134 with a port of 1028, you're going to redirect to this. You're getting? So you're going to redirect to the google.com instead of uh, using this IP address and port number, by the way, okay, and not with this domain name and the port number. So that's why uh, that's an port redirection tool. And let's see in the uh, virtual machine. So I think I had opened a bad tab here. So this is my XP machine. I and I already had downloaded this FPI uh, 2.1. You can download it from. Uh, let me also give you the source. You just need to write FPI download, and you will. This is a keyword basically. So simply. And the first link of Softpedia will give you the download section and you can download this tool from here. It gives you a zip file extracted 
uh, go to the destination here f5 2.1 and inside that f5 we are having dot exe write dash ln 1021 maybe this is the port i want to give uh, the remote port is going to be 80 or any other if you are interested in ftp or in ssh you can give the 22 or 21 here give the uh, maybe like uh, maybe this is okay i mean it's not that hard this is the uh, remote let's say i want to go for my my university website with my ip address and the port number so when i hit enter you see that it is in the listening mode and it is connected to some domain so i'm gonna open the firefox and i'll use the uh, you know my computer ip address so you see i p config if i do the ip address is 192.168.117.134 so i'm gonna use it so here you see that 134 I give the port 1021 and when I hit enter you see that in uh, okay so what does happen uh, maybe I had done something wrong or what uh, so maybe I need to uh, give some other port because 1021 is uh, not uh, suitable here or uh, maybe I need to give something else so it is it is trying to connect to this uh, you know IP of uh maybe okay i got it so this is this website is not working let's see the another website if instead of this let me give another port uh maybe if i give like 1030 and with a domain name of uh maybe this will work i think uh uh, and this is now port of 1030 and when I hit enter you see that it is connected and it will, it will open the university website instead of uh, you know uh, IP address uh, with, a, with a domain name you see that it is redirecting me and my pipe is connected to the uh, IP of 119.160.119.86.80 uh, uh, which is the university website you see I'm connected to it right so it gives me that thing so you're connected in and out all right so this is an inbound and outgoing traffic uh, i hope you like it this is the f5 port redirection tool it uses tcp and udp also so you can use some data manipulation here but i recommend you that you do not perform this kind of manipulation that this is an illegal activity so uh, i hope you use it for just for practice purpose and for analysis purpose or for defense purpose and do not use for any attacking or hacking kind of thing uh, this is what i want to uh, tell you all right so thank you so much guys if you like this video then hit that like button subscribe to my channel share this video and uh, i'm gonna see you in the next session thank you so much